It is day two of the U.S. Supreme Court debate over same-sex marriage and the rights of same-sex couples. Today, the High Court heard arguments on the legality of the Defense of Marriage Act. DOMA, as it's known, is the federal law defining marriage as a union between a man and a woman and denying benefits to same-sex couples. Because of that definition, more than 1,100 federal laws and related benefits do not apply to legally married same-sex couples. Ground Force Dan Kerman is here now with details on today's hearing. Dan. Well, the High Court is faced with the question of whether DOMA is constitutional. Audio recordings released just after the hearing suggest backers of DOMA believe the federal government is well within its right to use a uniform definition of marriage regardless whether it treats gay and lesbian couples differently. But the liberal wing of the court, along with Justice Anthony Kennedy, took issue with that, suggesting that violates the Equal Protection Clause and because it's the state that's supposed to have the power to say who is married, not the federal government. The question is whether or not the federal government, uh, under our uh, federalism scheme, has the authority to regulate marriage. Well, and, and it doesn't have the authority to regulate marriages as such, but that's not what DOMA does. We want to treat the same-sex couple in New York the same way as the committed same-sex couple in Oklahoma and treat them the same, or even more to the point for but purposes of... But that's begging the question, because you're treating the married couples differently. Well, you're saying that New York's married couples are different than... Um, Nebraska's. But, but the only I picked way that, that out of a hat. But the, the point well, but, is, there's I, a difference. The only way their difference is because of the way that state law treats them. Lawyers defending DOMA argued the law was enacted in 1996 for the purpose of uniformity and, in a sense, to in a way of caution, if you will, since the Hawaii Supreme Court was leaning towards okaying same-sex marriage. But Justice Elena Kagan took issue with that defense. Well, is what happened in 1996, and I'm, I'm going to quote from the House report here, is that Congress decided to reflect and honor a collective moral judgment and to express moral disapproval of homosexuality. Is that what happened in 1996? Sure. The House report says some things that we're not, we've never invoked in trying to defend the statute, but the House report says other things, like Congress was trying to promote democratic self-governance. And in a situation where a unelected elected state judiciary in Hawaii is on the verge of deciding this highly contentious, highly divisive issue for everybody, for the states, for the other states, and for the federal government by borrowing principles, it makes sense. Now, Justice Antonin Scalia and Chief Justice John Roberts question whether the issue should even be before the high court. And Roberts also tried to suggest that gays and lesbians might not need the court's protection. He suggested that marriage equality supporters have become quite the political force, and he cited that as a reason public opinion on same-sex marriage has shifted. Now, the court is expected to hand down a ruling in this case and Prop 8 sometime in June. You can listen to the entire U.S. Supreme Court hearing on DOMA on Crown Force 24-7 Bay Area News Channel starting at 7 o'clock this evening. It will play on a continuous loop through 4 o'clock in the morning. That's on Comcast Channel 193 or you can stream it online at crownforce.com.